Hello out there, everybody. Manny here at Area 503. And I hope you all have been well since our last video. Today I've got some interesting UFO sightings to share with you all. And I've got a few, so we're going to get right down to it. The first took place over Niagara Falls State Park. Check this out. A couple of people were out taking a walk, and they stopped to smoke some... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's tobacco in there. <laughs> so anyhow, they shot these photographs while they were there. And later, while they were viewing the photographs, they noticed these strange UFOs that they had not noticed in person. Once they had spotted these UFOs, the witness stated, This was one of the craziest experiences of my life. We were so excited and freaking out. Huh, well that is pretty interesting. There's a string of lights that appear to hold their formation while moving away. Hmm, I wonder if those are Starlink satellites. Computer, was there a deployment of Starlink satellites over Niagara Falls on the date of these photographs? There were no Starlink deployments in the region on the date specified. Hmm, so it's not Starlink. What else could it be? It's not likely to be an aircraft with drones because it appears to be one solid structure, not a bunch of small ones moving together in formation. I wonder if it's some kind of lens flare. Computer, target the row of lights in sector 237. Isolate and invert them, then overlay them on top of the UFOs and display. Look at that. I don't know about you guys, but that looks remarkably similar to me. I really do think that this is a lens flare from this row of lights down here. Computer. What are the chances that the bank of lights in sector 237 are responsible for the UFO? There is an 82.3% chance the UFO is caused by the bank of lights in sector 237. Thank you, computer. So it seems that these folks might not have seen a UFO after all, but at least they did get to smoke a bowl at Niagara Falls. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move along to our next sighting, which was filmed over Rogue River, Oregon. Check this out. It's awfully dark out there. I can't see anything. I don't know, man. I still don't see anything. Whoa, I see it now. And then it disappears again. Hmm. What is that? Dude. Look at my camera. I'm looking, man. What the heck is that? It's so bizarre. It's just sitting there. It's not flashing any lights or anything. Let's get a better look at this. Computer. Stabilize and zoom the UFO and then overlay an enhanced image. Well, that's obviously a... That's gotta be a... <laughs> you know, I have to admit to you guys, I'm a little bit stumped here. I really don't have any idea what that is. I mean, it slightly resembles the International Space Station in shape, but there's no way that it's the ISS. It's way closer than that. And besides, the ISS wouldn't just be hovering there like that. It would be moving from east to west and moving very quickly. So I think we can safely rule out the International Space Station. And I really don't think it's an airplane or we would see the red and green flashing marker lights. And it wouldn't just be hovering there either. It would be traveling along on towards its destination. So I think we can rule out aircraft here as well. And so I only have one possible explanation for this sighting. Whenever I see a UFO that is this purplish or kind of blue color, I have to question whether this is the reflection of an infrared laser rangefinder on a piece of glass. I spoke about the dangers of filming from inside in episode 67, so if you guys didn't get a chance to check that video out, give it a view when you're done here. What, you got something better to do? <laughs> Anyhow, the audio from the Rogue River sighting did sound like it was shot indoors. So it's possible that that is only a reflection. Maybe that's it. I'm not 100% sure but it is a fascinating piece of footage, and so I wanted to show it to you folks and see what you guys think. Anyhow, let's go ahead and move along to our next sighting, which was captured by a YouTube skywatching channel by the name of Carlos Skywatcher. Check this out. 
At first I had no idea what this was. It looks like something coming down hard and fast, and maybe it's on fire. I mean, look at that plume behind this thing. That's pretty dang strange. But you know what? The more that I looked at this footage, the less I think that it's something on fire. It almost looks like it's contrails or jet exhaust of some kind. I mean, Carlos did film some other planes while he was out there. And maybe this first clip was just red because it was shot at sunset. You know, I'll bet you that's it. Simply a jet shot at sunset. But you know, Carlos did capture some other awesome footage out there. And he's always watching the skies and uploading the greatest videos. So I'll link to his channel down below, so you guys can head on over there and give his stuff a watch when you get a chance. For now, let's move along to our next sighting, which took place over Iran. Take a look at this. A man was out walking with his children when he decided to stop and snap this photograph. Cute kids, by the way. <laughs> Anyhow, while he was snapping the picture, he noticed something odd fly into the picture behind the children. Check that out. A dark gray or black saucer-shaped object whizzing by silently. That's truly bizarre. And it seems that the witness thought this was bizarre as well because he ran over to snap another photo of this thing as it sped off. Whoa, what is that? Let's take a better look. Computer, isolate the UFO in both images, enlarge and overlay on top of the originals, then display. Wow, that is definitely a saucer-shaped object. It's not a bird or an insect, and it's clearly not an airplane either. Hmm. And it looks like it's maintaining its altitude too, not dropping down to the earth. So I think we can rule out that this is a fake, like a rock or something that was thrown from off camera and then photographed. What the heck is this thing? I'm really at a loss here. The only thing that I can think of is that maybe this is a large blimp or a balloon in the distance, but that doesn't explain how it was moving so quickly. I really don't know folks, but I wanted to share it with you and see if any of you have any ideas as to what this is. Let me know in the comments section below and we'll go ahead and move along to our next sighting, which took place over Australia. It's like fire, isn't it? Yeah, it's fire. It looks like fire. I've got it on the, um, the video. Look how bright it is. What the fuck are you doing? It's not going to make that sound. No, I know. It's amazing. That's incredible. Yeah, that's amazing. Hang on. Okay. Now the light is getting dimmer and dimmer. And it's gonna try and go out. Don't go out. Stay. It's just come back and get bright. I know it's going to the left. Come back this way. If I, I'd like it to come back over so that I can film it. Does it go fast? Have you, have you seen it ever go fast? Oh, that's what I'm saying. You saw this last time. Okay, it's, can you see it's very, very dim now. It's just simply fading, but it's stopped. I hope so. Because if it, oh God, what's that? Oh, that's straight lights. What? 
Oh, if it comes back, who are we going to win now? Wow, Rue. It's light from the front. Oh, it's okay. amazing. It's not making a noise? No. It's, it's going real slow. Very slow. But look at how it's not, it's, it's just sort of like it's fluttering around. Have you noticed it's not going still? Yeah, I know, I know. It's yeah, look, not. Look, it goes this way, it goes that way. Yeah, I noticed. This way, it goes that way. Wow, this is a good opportunity. For, like I said, that's why I, I got the that's why I got the phone to to video it because you hardly ever get any good videos of any of this kind of thing. As a reference, there's a house down there. There's this glowing oh, star thing in the sky, which is moving very very slowly. It is going from side to side. Oh, it's just stopped stopped right there wow <laughs> it's surveying the land or doing something I don't know wow it's just stopped oh this is incredible where'd it go there it is let's try and get a really good footage of it it's doing some kind of some kind of surveillance maybe Pulsating. It's amazing. I'm not taking my I'm not taking the camera off this. There's no way. Too many people they see things and they don't aren't able to take video. But it has just stopped in the sky now. Well that is some pretty interesting footage. The witnesses described this silent, bright orange glowing sphere that was moving about slowly, almost as if it was searching for something. At times the UFO would move away from them, and then at other times it would come back closer. Both witnesses thought it was a pretty strange event, and one of the witnesses claimed that he had seen something like this before previously. Well that is truly bizarre, I wonder what that could be. I don't think it's an airplane, or it would move in one constant direction mostly, and you would see the red and green marker lights, but we have none of that here. I mean, it could be a helicopter, but you would think that the witnesses would have heard one of those, and instead, they noticed that the UFO was completely silent. Hmm. Well shoot guys, I think we can rule out a lot of things here, but I can't tell you what that is. It could be anything. I'm going to go ahead and leave this sighting in my UFO files, and we'll move along to our next sighting, which took place over the English Channel. A man was riding a ferry across the channel when he claimed to have snapped this photograph of a blue sphere exiting the water. Take a look at this. You can see this blue dot up here and another white smaller dot down on the water's surface. This small dot is what the witness claimed is a disturbance in the water where the UFO exited. But I have to tell you guys that I'm extremely suspicious of this story. This blue and white light looks to me like a lens flare maybe from the light on this island here in the background, or perhaps it's from the sun which is out of the picture frame. I mean this really doesn't look like the water's disturbed down here or anything to me, so I really just don't buy this one. But it's still kind of interesting and I wanted to show it to you guys and see what you guys think. So let me know in the comments section below, and we will go ahead and move along to our next sighting which took place over eastern Massachusetts. Check this out. What is that? That is not a f***ing planet. It is too close. Everybody see that? What is that? That is not a street light. It's in the sky. You see that? It's super close. It's like not moving. I'm getting closer to it. What in the f***? Is that like a drone or something? What the f*** is that? I'm going really slow. Okay, it's got red and green lights. Okay. And I, I, oh. <laughs> so 
So this woman is out driving along and spots this UFO flying fast and low. At first, she swears she has no idea what it is. I have no idea what the f that is, and it's wicked low, and it's not moving, and it's definitely something. But whatever it is, she chases it down only to discover that it has flashing red and green lights. Okay, it's got red and green lights. Okay. And I, um. <laughs> I love her voice there at the end. Okay. And I, um. It's like she realized that she had just chased down an airplane and she doesn't want to believe it. But we all know, folks, that airplanes, not UFOs, flash red and green lights. <laughs> so yeah, that's most likely a plane. But it's still great footage and this woman's reactions were hilarious, so I wanted you guys to see this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move along to our next sighting, which took place over Chicago, Illinois. Wait. That thing has moved. Yeah, it did. It and there's stopped. no red lights on it. There was no red light. And it's flashing. It was flashing. Well, it quit flashing. Now it's, it's flashing again. flaring up again. That's just weird. I want to go grab the telescope, but I'm scared. I don't know of any plane. Going back down. Whoa. Hold on a minute. What the hell? Whoa. There's a plane. Yeah, that's not a plane. Or a helicopter. Oh, it's too high up to be a helicopter. Especially with the Still going. And jets don't hover, unless they're Harriers, and that just. No, it's still going. Weird. It changed direction. Oh, uh, whoa, wait a minute. What the heck? What? Now it's gone. What the hell is that? It's gone. Oh, it, no, it's gone. Well, it just got dinner again, though. It's disappeared. Huh. That's just... So that is an odd one. At first this thing is just hovering over the suburban residential area. It's moving around oddly and it's flaring up intermittently. It hovers around for a while and then it just takes off, moving away from the witnesses, getting smaller and dimmer until it just disappears. Now this thing left the witnesses stumped and I'm a little bit stumped myself, folks. I'd like to say that this was a helicopter or an airplane, but there is no indication of marker lights, and to be honest with you, this thing is just not moving like any form of aircraft that I know of. And it could also be a drone, but it's far too bright to be a drone, and so I'm a little skeptical of both the aircraft and the drone explanation here. And so I really have no idea on this one either, folks. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'm just dying to hear your guys' opinion about this sighting and all of these sightings. So don't be shy. Just try to be nice. <laughs> I'll get you all later. As always, this has been Manny at Area 503. And I wish you all the best until we meet again. And I am out of here to continue my search for universal truth. A 
jet at sunset, a jet at sunset. This is a song about jets at sunset. Just remember, Manny, siblings is a thing. 